Hello, my name is Nathan Johnson. This is Experience CTN. Our guest today is Linda Brayman, host of Senior Moments and Community Post Producer since August of 2016. Welcome, Linda. Thank you very much. So how did you hear <coughs> about CTN? I have always known that CTN existed. At least 20 years ago, I wanted to do some programs, and I called to see if I could do it, and I was told, well, you have to live in the city of Ann Arbor to be able to use the equipment. So then I just put it on the backside and didn't think of it again. Okay. And how did you end up hosting uh, Senior Moments? That was, a, that was a great thing that happened to me because I didn't even know, I don't think, that Senior Moments existed. I, I don't remember the time, you know, the, the order of the events, but I had seen some senior moments and I remember thinking wow that looks like fun and then I forgot about it of course and then I, I went to the Ypsilanti library and I took a class on blogging and Alicia was leading that class and we were talking about our past and kind of some things we wanted to do and I told her about uh, my experience with CTN and um, she said, well, I might be able to help you. And I said, really? And she did. She talked to Tim about having me as host of uh, Senior Moments. And the rest, to be cliched, is history. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and just for people who don't know at home, what is, what is Senior Moments? Senior Moments is a program where we use information uh, to entertain, to inform, to educate. And it's a lot of fun to be on there. And I've met a lot of people, a lot of really great people. Yeah, sure. And just um, what, what, what does it personally mean to you, like just uh, Senior Moments as a whole? It means to me that it's a way that we can communicate with the senior population. Because when you get a certain age, people forget about you. And they don't understand how you're feeling and they don't know how lonely it can be. I've um, spoken to a lot of widows, and I say, how are you doing? Oh, I'm lonely. And that's the biggest problem. So it, it's there for seniors to enjoy and to take from it what they, what they want to. That's excellent. Um, I think we have a clip we were going to go ahead and show, so let's go ahead and roll that clip. Happy New Year. I'm Linda Brayman. Senior Moments has been going strong for 16 years thanks to your support. We have worked to bring fun, entertainment, and important information to you. We will continue our pursuit of excellence this year and those that follow. Hello. It's time for Senior Moments again. Thank you for joining us. I'm Linda Brayman and our guest is Debbie Awi, the director of Ypsilanti Township 50 and Beyond program on Clark Road. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you. You know, you and I go way back, seven years, I think we said before the program. That's correct. Yeah. And I remember I was attending the senior center for a few weeks or months before you. So we're going to breathe after that phrase, and then we're going to go on to the next one. I'm going to let it shine. OK. Here we go. This little light of mine. Your turn. This little light of mine. Good. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Okay. I love it how you're... <laughs> pulling out those phrases and there's no doubt that this is a phrase and it's just flowing through you. Do you think I'm ready for the big time? <laughs> <laughs> sure you are. Thank you for connecting with us on Senior Moments. I trust you enjoyed the show. I'm Linda Brayman. Have a wonderful February. Well, wow.
those are some excellent moments in senior moments. Yes. <laughs> uh, so tell me so one of your favorite moments while doing senior moments, like before and after. Actually, it was one you saw there where I was singing. I have never been very confident of my singing. People used to say, well, you can carry a tune. Well, that's not much of a compliment, is it? <laughs> I can carry a tune. That's wonderful, at least. But I found out I was going to have to sing. This lady was going to teach me how to sing. I don't know why I thought I didn't, wouldn't have to sing. I don't know how she could have taught me unless I had to sing. And I was terrified. My knees were knocking together the whole show. But it's become my favorite because I survived. I didn't die. I didn't embarrass myself. A and I feel more confident now in not just my singing, but other kinds of things. That's good to hear. Um, so there are a lot of shows on CTN. Um, how do you feel people could utilize CTN's um, different workshops? Oh, there are so many different kinds of shows. And I know that um, I watched one one day on dancing. I love dance. And so I just kind of migrated to that. And it was all these old dances that I remembered from high school. And I thought, wow, that's fun. That's really fun. And there are other shows that they could watch. They, they just have to look through what's available and say, what do I think I might want to watch? Or even, I don't know, maybe I'll just try this. And you might be surprised at how much you really like one of the shows that you didn't even know about and, and you watched it. Yeah, there are a lot of shows. So tell me a little bit more about some of the episodes that you've been part of. Uh, what were a few of them? Oh, uh, one I remember was an exercise class with uh, a gentleman who teaches it at the mall. And he talked about his philosophy of exercise and uh, some of the concepts that he thinks help people with their balance and other, well, especially elderly people and other things. And not only did he teach uh, the exercise, a lot of stretching too. And people need to know if you don't stretch, you're going to be all hunched over by the time you're old. And he also danced. He was a great dancer. He and his wife performed a dance after the show, and it was just exciting to watch that. And another one I liked was when I had Debbie from, uh, let's see, Ipsy, Ipsy Township Senior Center. I had been a member of that senior center, and I knew her quite well, took her dance classes, and she came on. And I think it's always fun to interview someone that you have a history with, or at least someone that you know something about, so you can say things like, oh, yes, I remember when you came, and oh, yes, remember when we did this, and, and that, I think, I think makes an interview a lot more interesting. It seems more dynamic that way. Yeah, like a good personal connection. Um, yes. So with uh, the dance instructor, did he have any particular like form, or was it all like his own teachings? I don't know for sure what he did. He was with another group called uh, oh, I can't even remember, but, and I don't know if they told him the exercises he had to do, or I think he kind of made up his own because he did a lot of dancing kinds of things, you know, just kind of swaying back and forth on your dancing. Yeah, just like and kind of like some free form moves. And yes, all. yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and that was fun, and he would always make comments that were funny, trying to get us to keep going. So it, keep I, it's very up. enjoyable. I get that. Yeah. Um, and as for the senior production, um, what kind of stuff did you talk about? The which? Oh, the oh, second one, the, the senior oh, production. Oh, senior. Yeah, Ipsy uh, Township. Ipsy Township, sorry. I'm sorry. We talked about what they do at the senior center. And I just think that's a subject that people may not be aware of. There are so many senior centers. There's one in every city, that, well, at least that I've been in. And they offer so many diverse programs. But this one was especially good because this woman was an actress, a singer, and a dancer. And she taught all of those things on her own, you know. And I think she had to quit after a while because she had some health issues. She didn't quit the directorship. She had to quit all the teaching, except maybe the dancing, a couple of dance classes. So it's, uh, I think it's fun and important for seniors to know 
that you need to get out there and keep moving. And I think that was what Peter's organization was called, moveon.org. You've got to keep moving. But it, you, just because you're old, I always pictured when I got old, I'd probably sit in a rocking chair and knit all the time. And I thought, well, I don't feel old. I look in the mirror and I, yeah, I see an old lady, but, and my body complains a lot, but my mind says, no, get out there and do something. And so dancing and singing, all these things that senior centers offer, playing cards, playing, uh, learning how to operate a camera, just so many things that are available. Trips. I know Pittsville takes a lot of trips to really great places. So it's important that people are aware of those things, that they know they exist, and they know how to become involved in them. And I hope that Senior Moments has been helpful in doing that. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of cool programs that I've, I've seen on Senior Moments personally. That's really inspiring, you know, to keep, keep making moves, like even if, even if you've gone to a certain age, you know, this doesn't mean you can't no. go out and be free with your body and your mind. That's right. That's, That's excellent. Right. All right. Yeah. Um, and uh, are there any other programs at the uh, Senior Center that you would want to highlight? Oh my, there were so many good ones. Um, I think my favorite, I've already mentioned dancing, but my favorite was line dancing because it was just a group of mostly ladies, once in a while, a couple of men, and we would just dance and bump into each other and, <laughs> and say, oh, sorry, sorry. And it was like, we don't have to say sorry because we're all doing the same thing. We all mess up on the steps. We all bump into somebody. And it was just for fun, very fun, and it kept us moving. And that, uh, that was really great, things like that. But they had what do you call them, potlucks, maybe? Is that what like the name of it is? Or yeah, or potluck a... lunches. Or, or, um, and those were fun to just sit and talk to people and do things. And uh, they had things, I know at Pittsville, they had a program for people who were not moving very well, and very easy exercises to do. And they were at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I would get there early sometimes, and I'd see these ladies doing these exercises and I think wow that's pretty cool and they would have Tai Chi and I remember one time at Ipsy taking a class a stretching class actually and you could sit in your chair if you couldn't stand up and I was at the point where when I was getting up in the morning I had to roll out of bed and crawl on my hands and knees and it was just hurt and I thought oh this arthritis is terrible and this extra cla exercise class, actually stretching, made me realize how important it is to stretch. And so now I feel like I'm the guru of stretch. I tell everybody, stretch, stretch everything, your eyeballs, your mouth, everything, because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So I, I've just learned a lot from the different senior centers. And it's been fun, a lot of fun, being a part of them, meeting other people, building that bond, that camaraderie with other people your age who understand what you're going through, what's happening, you know, they can say, oh, yeah, I've been there. And that's, and that's good. You know, you're not alone. There are other people suffering old age like you are. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Learn from experience and motivation. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, if there was just one thing that you want to say to people who are watching, like who want to watch Senior Moments, but are on, they're on the, the teetering on the edge, like, I don't know, what's something that you'd want to say? I would say that you have to watch Senior Moments because it could change your life. You never know what's going to be on there. We've had musicians and photographers, painters. Those are inspiring to people who feel like, oh, I would like to paint. There are classes at the senior centers. Most of these classes are free. So you, you need to watch Senior Moments to stay abreast of what's happening to us as we grow older and what can we do about it. And you will find something probably that you'll say, I could do that or I'd like to do that. And there you are off on reinventing yourself. Well, I think I'm convinced. Thank you so much, Linda. You're welcome. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and edit right here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future episodes. In the meantime, why not come in and experience all we have to offer for yourself? Visit us online at a2gov.org slash ctn. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at CTN Ann Arbor. I want to thank our crew, 
Pat Grimes, Natalia Tejeda, Pamela Mohar, Gage Shaughnessy, Robert Horn, and Alicia May. And I'm your host, Nathan. See you next time.